Now to Louisiana, the state now with more than 18,000 positive coronavirus cases and over 700 deaths. Louisiana lawmaker, uh, uh, one of the Louisiana lawmakers is one of the ones who lost his battle with the coronavirus yesterday. He was 54 years old. Casey Stegall is now live on all of that from Arlington, Texas. He has more. Casey? Sandra, good morning. The lawmaker's son that you speak of confirming the information that so many people had feared that he lost his dad after a battle with coronavirus yesterday. He was hospitalized last week and then he was put on a ventilator. He just took office in January of this year to represent Louisiana House District 54, though Reggie Begala was not new to public office. He previously served as an administrator and then auditor of his local parish. The news coming on a day that health officials in New Orleans reported a decline in the number of deaths over a 24-hour period across the state. More than 18,000 people, however, have tested positive, 702 have died. Government leaders have been calling for more COVID-19 tests to be brought to the region. The federal government is still running some of its drive through testing sites, but most testing now being done at hospitals, doctor's offices, and clinics. Although you can add major national pharmacy chains to the list, the federal government is now allowing registered pharmacists across the country to administer coronavirus tests once they're trained. A handful of Walgreens locations already offering drive through testing sites. CVS, Walmart, and others are expected to come online soon. However, with a big holiday weekend upon us, leaders say now is not the time to start ignoring social distancing guidelines. There is light uh, at the end of all this darkness. And I did want to encourage the people of Louisiana to look at it in that fashion. I encourage them to continue to comply with all the orders that are in place and to be patient. The same message is also being circulated across Texas and other states across the country. Here in Texas, 199 deaths have been reported, numbers still relatively low considering the size and population of the Lone Star State. Sandra. Mm. Casey Stegall, thank you.